a Navy destroyer get destroyed, the USS Fitzgerald, T-boned by a giant container ship, there was clear weather and clear sailing. As the investigation goes full throttle into how this happened, we're learning that one of the sailors killed went to high school in Connecticut. Sonar technician, third class, Neop Sean Wynn, graduating from Watertown High School in Connecticut. And today, flags across the state, flying at half staff. Here's ABC's Donya Backus. Seven sailors found in the mangled midsection of the USS Fitzgerald now being remembered across the country. Flags flying at half staff in Palmyra, Virginia, where 19-year-old gunner's mate seaman Dakota Rigsby was a volunteer firefighter. He was a good kid. He gave the shirt off his back for you. And Daryl Martin is grieving his son, 24-year-old personnel specialist, first class Xavier Alec Martin. It's very hard. It's my only child. It's all I have. Monday, plenty of questions remain as to how an island-sized 30,000-ton container ship T-boned the naval destroyer. The cargo ship nearly gutting the Fitzgerald, slicing open the quarters where 100 sailors were sleeping. The captain quarters also hit. He and two others were medevaced. They had to fight the ship uh, to keep it uh, above the surface, so it was traumatic. Multiple maritime trackers show the Philippine ACX Crystal Cargo ship made a giant U-turn just minutes before colliding with the U.S. naval vessel. The ACX's charter company now denying it pulled that U-turn, claiming the incident happened 50 minutes earlier than the Navy's account. Several investigative bodies are now investigating, which could take months. Japanese Coast Guard officials are now trying to get a hold of a device with communication records to examine the details of the crash. Danya Backish, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.